they left that classic bakery sign up and they just repurposed it for the comic shop. And this is Desert Island. Let's go inside and check it out. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? All right, we are inside here, and this is very, very indie. Let's walk around. See what they got in here. They got some local uh, zines, and they have some t-shirts. And, oh, man, look at this. They have all these Kickstarter uh, in independent comics here. And they have uh, the whole series. One through six or seven. The Solar Grid. It's like a sci-fi kind of a book about global warming. All right, cool, man. Very indie, man. Rainy Day, what a great title, right? So looks like they have a lot of Kickstarter books. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. And lots of indie books. Lo looks like lots of these are locally made. Here is Mineshaft, the fanzine on the 60s and 70s independent comic scene. Like R. Crumb and all those guys, Zap Comics. Here's some psychedelic posters. And we have a whole import section here. It looks like The Future. I don't know if these are reprints of the Golden Age books or if they're fanzines. We have some back issues here. And there's more back issues below. We can go through them. Looks like these are Golden Age, Walt Disney, and Gold Key. Uh, Walt Disney Showcase Pluto. And we have Chippendale. Very, very indie in here. Not a lot of floppies. Lots of trade paperbacks and uh, indie books. And hard to find, I guess. Uh, well, here's some uh, regular mainstream indie books like Invincible and Image and Boom and Fables and um, Gideon Falls. You know, very more popular mainstream indie books. Image, Boom, I guess a Blaze Decorum they have here. Aftershock stuff. They must have all that kind of... Uh... And they have Neil Gaiman Death. And this is wrapped. Brand new. That was, uh, what, a DC imprint? Was that Vertigo? Here's Tank Girl. Remember Tank Girl? That was totally gonzo, right? And here's 2000 AD. Oh, these are the original British... Uh, how they're printed. Like, a uh, anthology in this magazine. Oh, it's awesome, man. Very cool, right? To see the... To see the actual strips. More like uh, Shonen Jump, right? All right, so but where are we? Let's check out where we are. Let's go outside and get a little tour here. All right, we are in Brooklyn in Williamsburg, across the street from Kellogg Diner. And we are going to Desert Island. We're on the corner of Metropolitan and Union. And we'll see what they got in there. Any comic books or collectibles? Uh, we'll see what they got in the shop. It is half a block away. So let's go inside. The BQE is uh, a block away, so we got some traffic here. Let's check out their sign here. Right? Beautiful classic bakery sign there. Let's see if they got any French bread in here. And they put that little Desert Island uh, crate signage, right? All right, back in the store here. What do we got? Look how handsome this book is, right? Look at the presentation. That Night Terror. There we have a Kent State book on the uh, riots. And we have some back issue bins. Maybe I'll pull one of these out and go through them. These look like where all the floppies are. All the modern... Uh, Floppies. Little Tom of Finland here, right? Is that the artist? On the uh, gay bikers here. A little Kenneth Anger, Scorpio Rising action. All right, and we have Scott Pilgrim. Look at this. Uh... There was some hate magazines down there, too. So they got a bunch of hate, and they have... Um... They gotta have like uh, eight ball and stuff in here, right? And these are the newer indie comic books that are coming out. Oh, here we go. Classic uh, little black hole action. And then we have um, Accidental Czar. Yeah, really well stocked here. If you want to get an indie book, oh, here's the eight ball collection that came, just came out, right? Isn't that the third print? 
Those are hard to find, so I mean, this is a great book to get. If you want to get all the 8-balls, I think Ghost World is in there, and like a Velvet Glove, I think is in there. Let's see if they have any Love and Rockets here. I mean, this place is really well stocked if you're into indie comics. And they have all the classics, too. I like that they have the, uh... I'll go through these pretty quick. I pulled out a back uh, issue box just to skim through it to give you guys an idea of what they got. Right? Kind of cool. Oh, they got some Cerebus in here. See, they have some original, uh... uh issues in here. And they do. They have some uh, early issues under 100 from the 80s. Oh, look at this. This is in good shape, too. Look, Mint. Number 88. And here's some reprints, Cerebus reprints. And there's some more indie comics here on the right. Right? Kind of uh, floppies. Looks like that scene is still going strong, huh? And they have some Kickstarter and uh, Indiegogo books in here. Uh, I'm not too familiar with all that stuff that's going on. I guess there's so many books coming out now. So it's a very cool store, very hip. And if you wanted to see lots of these indie comics, instead of looking at them online, you can actually see them and go through them, you know, before you purchased it, which is a great service that an actual brick and mortar store can do. Go in and actually see the books. You know, not like uh, just buying them off Amazon. Like you can actually go see this book here. There's another classic book. Great presentation here, right? And lots of these indie comics are hard to come by, so it's great to have them collected in these beautiful editions, right? If you wanted to pick them up. Really indie shop, man. They had, like, comics made locally. Like, people put them together by hand. That was super indie, man. Very cool. And they had a lot of 8-ball uh, stuff and uh, classics. So, um, let me show you what I got, all right? I'll, uh, I just grabbed a couple of books in there. I was unprepared. I didn't know it was going to be like uh, trade paperbacks and indies, so I was unprepared. But let's see what I got, all right? Let's check it out. On the left, this is that DC imprint, right, that they gave to Gerard Way, right, from uh, that guy from Chemical Romance. They gave him a young animal. That's his imprint, right? And this is Collapser number one. And on the right, I got that special edition Criminal. It's uh, Ed Brubaker and uh, Sean Phillips. Um, like and subscribe if you guys like the channel, if you guys like the content here. It helps out the channel. Ring that little bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded. And I grabbed some of those Cerebus books. These are reprints. So I, go, I thought maybe they collected some of the greatest hits. Because um, this went to like issue 300, right? And this is uh, lots of parody issues. Uh, initially, it was like a parody of Conan. But then he started doing uh, other stuff, uh, parodies on philosophy and religion. This is like a Brian Wilson. Uh, and uh, they're talking about the Beatles in here. So lots of pop culture uh, stories and uh, commentary and stuff. And this, I had a low run here. It looks like a number 88. Uh, like I said, the first 50, I think, were all parodies of Conan. He's like a barbarian, an oddvark barbarian. But then it started getting into more philosophical and religious uh, ideas and story arcs. And I think this is where it starts to take off. Like, you have to issue 50. So maybe 50 to, like, 200. It starts to get pretty good. So I grabbed 88. It looks like it was a mint condition, this book. Right? Look how nice that looks. And these are, like, five bucks. So uh, these are all the books I got today. Go over them here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.